Hello everybody, and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. Back in the year 1992, a sugarcane farm worker was working in the fields of Hacienda Malagana, located in the Palmyra municipality of Colombia's fertile flatlands of the Corsa Valley. Driving a tractor and suddenly the ground gave way and the man and his machine fell into a deep hole. Coming around from the shock of the incident, like a scene from Indiana Jones, he realised he was inside an ancient hypogeum surrounded by golden objects. Initially, he told no one, and instead decided to start taking the valuable objects for himself. That belongs in a museum! What he had removed were priceless ancient gold artefacts from the burial tombs of a previously unknown indigenous culture of Colombia. He began selling the objects, but the secret of his newly found discovery wouldn't be a secret for long, as other employees and locals learned about his discovery. Word spread far and wide, and what followed was quite literally a looting frenzy. In just three months from October to December 1992, according to local newspaper reports, more than 5,000 people descended on the site in an event that the media called the Malagana Gold Rush. The whole site was plundered, as people wanted a piece of the treasure. One person was even murdered in the frenzy. It is estimated that around 180 kilograms, or around 400 pounds in weight, of pre-Columbian gold artefacts were taken from the site to be either melted down or sold to collectors in what was described as the grandest hall since the original conquistadors. And it wasn't just one tomb that was plundered, hundreds were discovered, all of them robbed and destroyed. The authorities did not find out about the find until the following year, and even in January 1993, the looting continued, with news reporters capturing the mayhem on camera, and pictures were published in the Colombian press. Police and the army were called out to contain the chaos, to stop the looting, to stop the looters from fighting, and to stop the destruction, but even they were unsuccessful due to the vast amount of people at the site. Even now to this day, nobody knows how many artefacts were lost to private collections or melted down for scrap, and the 180 kilograms is very much a conservative estimate. Archaeologists had to wait until March 1993 until they could safely access the site and take stock of the discovery, but looters still continued to interrupt the important work. Research was postponed, and looting didn't end until 1994, when the vast majority of treasure hunters gave up, completely emptying the site of any gold or precious items. The archaeologists then re-entered the site, and discovered that it dated to between 300 BC and 300 AD. And although what was a royal cemetery was destroyed, researchers did find an untouched residential area just 500 metres away. The people of this settlement were, until 1992, completely unknown to history, and they were named the Malagana people after the sugarcane estate of Hacienda Malagana, where the gold was discovered. These people were one of four societies that successively occupied the valley, and made up the Kalima culture. The Malagana people lived in marshes and fertile agricultural land, and because of the ceramic artefacts that were not looted from the tombs, experts know it was likely that they lived in rectangular houses that were built on stilts. Ceramic offerings of women were discovered, and each figurine contained a rock crystal. As well as creating fine gold objects, these people also crafted fine ceramics, mostly white or terracotta in colour. Large bottles, double spout vessels, and musical wind instruments like ocarinas were discovered. But it is the gold and silver objects that are of course the most splendid, and thankfully, some have survived the looting, being sold to museums by the looters, although many, many objects will have been melted down and sold for scrap, whilst many more must still remain in private collections around the world. Batoga's Museo del Oro obtained 150 pieces of Malagana gold and paid approximately $300,000 to the looters. Today, they have more than 280 artefacts that have since been exhibited around the world. Many criticised the museum for buying the objects, as it just encourages more looting. But the museum saw no other option, in fear that the incredible objects of this unknown culture would be lost forever. 
A number of other museums also came into contact with the artefacts, and although many of them couldn't afford the asking price, they were allowed to take photographs so there could be a record of the finds. Incredibly, looters came to the site for the next 20 years. The newspaper El Tiempo reported 100 to 300 looters in 1999, with incidents of digging still reported as recent as 2012. It probably still continues to this day. In their book, The Handbook of South American Archaeology, Helene Silverman and William Isbell state that in Peru alone, more archaeological sites have been destroyed since World War II than in the first 400 years following the Spanish conquest. And, in honesty, such destruction has not stopped in South America and around the globe. With huge numbers of people in poverty, the opportunity of finding a priceless solid gold object will of course motivate many people. We can only imagine how many artefacts were melted down and sold to private collectors, but this hoard was certainly worth many millions of dollars in scrap. For example, 180 kilograms of gold is worth more than eight and a half million dollars today. Yet to history, these objects would have been completely priceless. To end this video, like I've done in other recent videos, I'll show you the incredible objects to the music of Ross Bugden. Ross has many royalty-free tracks on his YouTube channel, and the guy truly is an incredible artist. I've linked his channel below. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll be making more videos next week. I have just relaunched my new channel Space and Planet, which focuses on Earth and space science news and independent scientific research from around the world. Please subscribe now, I have left a link in the description below. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.